Okay guys, in this video, this is a AM3 uh, retention bracket right here and right here and uh, here's the screws for it there. So basically all you got to do is we're going to put this through the back side of the motherboard and uh, this is what you usually see on the back side of your motherboard. You have to uh, take this plastic piece off when you're wanting to do water cooling. That's why I had this one removed because I used to have this water cooled so now in this case we're going to be using a wraith cooler so I need to put it back on before I'm able to uh, mount the wraith cooler so okay so uh, basically all you need to do is uh, let me prop you up here one of these days I'm going to get somebody filming this stuff for me guys <laughs> All right, so you got to put this through on the back side, and uh, the holes kind of pop through there. Let me show you what's going on. Get it to focus in. So those are kind of sticking through now. This is what it looks like from the back side. Now, basically, all we're going to do is put this. Uh, let me get it to focus in there. There we go. We're going to put this plastic bracket on there. This is kind of hard to do, so, because you're having to hold the back, hold the front, and get a screw started all at the same time. So, holding the camera all while doing that just is not a possibility. I think I'm going to have to lean it back a little bit, kind of let gravity help me out here, so I at least get one of these started. And I'll put it back down to where you guys can see what's going on. Okay, there we go. So now, we got one screw in, get the other ones in here. Make sure if you ever have to do this with water cooling, <clears throat> keep up with your screws. Uh, they're threaded to fit perfect in this. And uh, if anything ever goes wrong with your water cooler and you just want to go back to your standard stock cooler or whatever until you get another water cooler in, then it's handy to have these around. I'm real good about when I take this stuff apart, I put it in baggies with all the correct screws and label it. Okay, so now we have the AM3 Plus uh, retention bracket back installed. Again, like with anything else, guys, like I said, just twist them till they get snug. Don't overdo it. Um, but on that being machined, it's going to be, you wouldn't really be able to overdo it anyways. So that's what it looks like now, installed. And next, I'm going to be doing a video on, um, we're going to go ahead and put the processor in. Alright, tune back in guys. <laughs>